a look at that. Arxy got up early and he's gone and rolled the big field for us. What a guy. Well, Ox, thanks for uh, jumping in and getting that big field done. I appreciate that. No worries, mate. I thought I could clock in a little bit earlier than you and uh, knock it out so we can make the most out of those soybeans. Absolutely. You know, looking good. I just checked them over as well as uh, all three fields have got weeds in them as well. So we'll have to look forward to that in the future. All right. We might have to uh, see if we can get that sprayer traded in for something that might actually work a little bit better. Yeah, no, it sounds like a plan. So, um, right. yeah, it's coming towards the end of the day now, isn't it? So we're we're probably going to knock off now and uh, pick up in the morning when that canola should be ready. That sounds like a good idea. I like how you've just arrived and you're already looking forward to knocking off. <laughs> That's the way I roll. <laughs> good on you, good on you. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, now we'll jump into, I think we need to go to July and uh, jump forward and make a big start on the canola. That's right. That's a big field, that. So that should keep us uh, occupied for a few hours. Certainly should, certainly should. Right, well, I will uh, catch you tomorrow. All right, mate. Cool. Well, mate, you uh, ready to get into this canola? I am indeed. It's looking like a good crop. Let's see if all that it extra is. work that we did on it pays off. Yeah, fingers crossed. We had to uh, jump forward a little bit further than we thought, though. June to August. Yeah, but uh, the other crops have started to germinate. The soybeans are coming up nicely over there. I can see a lot of weeds, hmm. though, as well, but... We'll deal with yeah. that another day. Yep, that could be something for next time. But yeah, certainly, let's go and uh, make a start. So are we going to go and do the little field over the road first? Or uh, do you just want to jump straight into the big one? Yeah, let's let's knock that one out and then get it done. And then we can uh, get really stuck into this one. Okay, sounds good. Let's get to it. Let's do it, man. Right, there we go. Time for a harvest. What I might do, we'll probably only need an orca wagon. The combine in the little field there's not even a, a full i would say two loads worth in there so i will grab the orca wagon Ox can grab a combine and uh, we'll quickly do that one and then we'll come back for the big guy there are the combines lined up ready to go wonder which one Ox will take he's going straight past them no he's not he's going for the new holland i think um as the soybeans that Argy was rolling at the start of the episode they are looking pretty good as well Lots of weeds in there though, so we need to probably get that sorted relatively quickly. I know a very good sprayer from LR Modding that might help us with that one. There he goes. No messing. We'll just pull in here, we'll sit back, and we shall watch him do his stuff. Right, we are quickly cutting out a little opening here so we can get the combines in. I'm going to set up a three-way course play course in here while Argus is on the other field. And then we can uh, run the grain carts and the trucks to our heart's content while these guys work away in the field. So, with that in mind, I will set this up. We've obviously the New Holland's in the other field as well. So the third combine on this course won't... Uh, join us till later on but it shouldn't have an impact to be honest it should still all work fine so let's get all of this set up and then we'll come back right we have set up our first combine so this is left one first waypoint hopefully we are good to go here if this works we will go and get the second one All looking rosy from here. Right, we'll get combine number two. Right, that is combine number two all set up and looking good. First combine a little bit further ahead up there. The yield on here is looking good already. I've literally gone from the start point to here and I'm 17% full already, so that first combine won't be far off being full, so we better go and grab uh, an auger wagon and uh, we'll get it unloaded. But Args will be along in a little minute in the New Holland. He'll be able to uh, cut in and start this third headland pass and uh, we are good to go, so we are moving at pace now. 
Right, we're sitting in here, we're just waiting for Args to arrive actually with the third combine. And we have started to unload. Got one load in from the header combine already. Uh, we're going to just delay unloading this one first so there's enough time for him to get around that corner. That second combine uh, has to cut in when it's ready to unload. So um, it's concertinaing the two combines up. So we're giving them a little bit more space. Well, I was going to cut away to quite a nice little montage of us combining away and collecting crop and stuff like that, but what I've actually ended up doing is spending the entire time keeping up with two combines, because the yield is so ridiculously high. Args is having the same problem in the other field as well. So between us, we are absolutely flat out, which is brilliant, but uh, yeah, it doesn't make for good content. So we're, we're going to push on, we're going to keep going. And uh, hopefully when Argus comes over, we'll get a little bit more time to uh, gather our thoughts and uh, get through this. But um, talk about an uplift in yield. Unbelievable. Compared to what we had the first time we did this. I'd actually love to go back, actually, and see... Uh, maybe watch the vid and see how often we unloaded. Because I have unloaded both of these combines twice now around the headland. And that was another unload there um, as we came up this first pass. So... Um, I'm going to... We've got a trailer full at the farm. We've got a second trailer half full. So I actually might utilise this time to go and unload those. And then they're free. But when we need to unload another auger wagon. Let's see if we can do that in time, actually. I bet you by the time I've unloaded this into a trailer and unloaded the first trailer, those combines will be sitting there waiting to be unloaded again. Right, we're going to leave that unloading there. We are going to go and find the other truck, which is just over here, and get it tipped into the silo straight away. Now, there we go. We are unloading here. Now, Args is about to come back with an auger wagon, so what I might do is just pull this forward, leave an exposed hopper for him, and then he can unload into this and just reverse the truck back into the space to unload it before he uh, brings it to the next field. So uh, let's get both of these hoppers unloaded, and then I'll just park it. I'll just roll forward just a little bit. And we'll go back and we'll check and see if our other combines need a little bit of help, which I'm sure they will. So yes, if I roll forward like so, that will give him enough space to unload his auger wagon. And we'll make do with the other one. Axie Leafy's G. Go ahead, Ox. I am all finished over here. I have got uh, room for about a thousand litres in the combine and a full grain cart, so um, we're doing pretty well so far. How about that you? That is impressive. That is impressive. I've got two full combines. Uh, I've just emptied a trailer. I've got another trailer full. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm struggling to keep up, so you can come and help oh. me if you want. Are well, you looking forward to having a third combine thrown in the mix then? Yeah, that'll add to the yeah. fun, won't it? Yeah. Hey, um, actually, I've just had a phone call. I've got to shoot into town and do something, so um, you'll be right if I just leave you here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. Well, there we go. We have got two full combines. We've even got some left in the bottom of here, actually. So we are uh, up against it. But uh, that's part of the fun, right? The challenge. So we'll go and get these two combines unloaded. And I've gone the wrong way, I've just realised, because I really want to unload the first combine before I unload the second one to cause them being too close together, but uh, we'll make it work. Right, first combine has cut in, so we'll grab this. There we go. And then just behind him is the other combine, so not too far behind. We should get both hoppers into this auger that's the nice thing about these big auger wagons you can get away with uh, more than two hoppers in I haven't got the biggest hopper as well on these classes I think they're about 14, 15,000 litres so it helps us definitely but it's frustrating I suppose when the hoppers uh, when the auger wagons are the same size as the trailers feels like a bit of double handling unfortunately so we could run, we could run the, track, the trailers of the trucks in the field uh, but for authenticity purposes, I'd like to run the auger wagons. I'm going to try and reverse all the way down the field now. And uh, get the second combine. 
Now, as we move into position here, I see a third combine arriving. So there is actually an, another headland there that needs doing. Let's hope it doesn't clash with this uh, coming down the other way. But uh, that means we are all systems go now in here. But we do have another grain car driver in Mr. Arg, so uh, that should uh, help us a little bit as well, which is good. Right, let's get unloaded here. If you look round while we're unloading, there's the third combine just gone, and there goes Arcs. Probably get his auger wagon. We'll get this into here, and then we will. Um I wonder if we unload this truck. Oh, we can't really, the other one's in the way. No, we're going to have to work out what we do here. Let's reverse back a bit. This one doesn't look full, but I think it is. I think it was just where we uh, where we had it parked last time. That is another full trailer. Can you believe it? There's Args with that empty trailer finally into the field. I'm going to take this full one then. Now Args is uh, unless Args is going to get there first. Yeah, he is. Grand. So right. we've got over here. If it's G's running ground carts, we're just getting trucks. Oh, just a bit. Cutting them off, running her in front of us. Uh, but we're just going to get these two trucks unloaded. We've got one unloaded at least. And uh, he is trying to keep up with the combines and it's doing it pretty tough at the moment. So we'll uh, get over and help him out as soon as we can get these trucks emptied out, get in there with the grain cart. And hopefully uh, be able to keep up with the three combines. But it looks like it has been a bit of a challenge for him so far. It has been a bit of a challenge for me so far. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Damn it, my, my muting. This is what happens when you don't turn Discord off. Don't change the system, Arx. Yeah, I know, right? That'd have been working so well, though. So, Arx gave a very nice update as what's going on there, but uh, we'll keep going. We're actually doing some really good progress on this field. If you look at what we've covered off so far, we've uh, done a load. Which is fantastic. And there's the New Holland going around the top again. Hopefully, we're not going to have any clashes as he comes around the headland. We shall see. Hopefully, everything's timed to perfection. Or, course play's clever enough to stop. But, um, yeah, they're doing a little bit of a merry dance, these two. Keep swapping, uh, swapping order as they get unloaded. But there we go. That's us done. Now, hopefully... He can get to the end of this row before getting full, or I'm not confident he's going to. Which might cause us a bit of a dilemma as I speak. Look at that. Now, are we going to have a bit of a collision here? I think we might. There we go. Things were going so well, I've had to intervene to untangle those two. That one's on its merry way. This is this is kind of the problem uh, with course players. You want to give them enough gap, but obviously, as the first combine is ready to unload, the second one closes up. If it closes up too much, they can clash into each other. But easy fix. If I'm being honest. Usually they stop as well. They're usually pretty good, but that time, for whatever reason, it chose not to. Um, but f for the naysayers with course play and auto drive, we said it's cheating and it's not doing the work yourself. This is a brilliant example of how it does work. We're running three combines that we can barely keep up with. We're running two grain carts. We're, going, we're running two trucks. And um, you just couldn't do that. If you were on your own, it would take you five, six, seven times as long to get this work done. Especially on bigger maps, it really, really helps. So I always see it as just a bigger farm enterprise where you've got hired help to uh, help you get the work done. I mean, let's be honest, on a farm of this size, you would never run a farm of this size on your own, ever. There's just too much to do. So uh, I think it just adds another layer of gameplay to things and uh, it works well. So we'll send him back off now. He's untangled. There goes the other combine up there. Let's hope we don't have any bumps. We may possibly again 
just the timing slightly off here. They're going to meet each other at the wrong time. Args is up there unloading though, so he might be able to rescue things. Although, nope, it's cutting in sooner. So problem is solved. Right, let's run along here and see if we can grab this combine. It might mean running in the crop ever so slightly, but grab this combine before he's full then and keep him going. It should keep this distance between the two combines. The gargs might grab some from that second combine as well. Right, now his hopper's empty, but I'm probably just going to run with him here and uh, get the cart absolutely brimful at 100%. And then... We can unload it straight into a trailer, we're probably as close as we're going to be to the trailers for a while as well, so that's timed nicely. I've just noticed as well, we're about to run out of fuel. I'm just going to keep going though. It's probably enough to get us through the rest of today. There we go, 100%. And look at that, the difference having a second truck and grain cart driver has, is we have got two empty trailers here, which is great. I think we're a little bit more on top of things now. There we go, Args is looking pretty full in the second uh, cart as well. It's taken a little bit out of the New Holland on the way past. I'll roll forward here. We get about three quarters of a trailer load in from one of these auger wagons, so... Just a little bit less than a full load. I'll probably run up and grab that, that combine up at the top of the field there. He'll, he'll not be a million miles away from being finished either, so... Right now I'm basically just driving across the field and picking out bits from each of the combines as and when I'm going past them, rather than waiting for them to be full. Basically making it uh, a little bit more efficient, keeping them all going, um, so nobody's completely brim full. I'm just seeing our lead combine up there. He's going to head up here and start a new land higher up the field in this last kind of big chunk we've got here. So uh, we'll go and join him in a second. We've got our full load out of this one. That's back down to empty, so that's good. All right, with the lead combine here, having to drive in the crop again a little bit, which is unfortunate, but um, this was nearly full, so just shows you the time it's taken to get up and down once he's absolutely brimful again so um, the yield is going to be crazy I don't know what the numbers are out of this I'm going to wait till the end and have a look but uh, yeah nuts there's Args picking up the new Holland so we'll run over to our other guy up here we can fit another 19% in here so See if we can run with him while he's driving up to uh, his next start point. There we go, we'll just top him up here. I don't think we'll get everything in this, but um, well, it's looking pretty good actually. Certainly going to have enough there to keep him going down to the other end, which is good. 98, 99, or 100, we are out. Right, first truck full, what we'll do, we'll pull over this one and we'll jump out and unload the Mac while that's unloading. Here we go, 60,000 litres per trailer. And I don't know how many trails we've done yet, but there's a few in here. Right, that's the second hopper unloaded there. Like I said, I'm not going to look at how much we've got in the silo until right at the end, and then we'll have a little look at time-saving stock check and see what that might yield us at maximum price. And it should be pretty good. Right, let's roll this back here. Get that shine off the uh, metal there. Brilliant. And we'll jump back in here. And we'll uh, go and find some more combines. We're just getting this combine unloaded, I think they must have finished, because that sort of stopped here. There we go, AI worker A has completed their tasks, so indeed they had. So what we're going to do, uh, FSG is well and truly on top of things, he's just emptied both of those combines out. Going off to empty into the trucks, so we might just uh, park our 
green card up there. I'm going to jump into this combine and just race around the outside of the fields. There's so quite a few bits that course plays missed, so uh, we don't want to leave anything out here. So we'll go and get that sorted out. Things turned on and unfolded. And then we'll, uh, yeah, see how many leaders we get. Might not be worth it, but it could really be worth it. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But that's all unfolded now, is it? It is. There we go. I reckon we might might be able to get maybe 1,500 litres? I don't know. 28 off that. Maybe not. 1,500 might be a bit adventurous. It will be worth it, Ox. Don't worry. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I give up. I'm just going to do all my voiceovers so you can hear them. <laughs> yeah, I just remove your, delete your line of... Uh, yeah, thank God. <laughs> <via>. <laughs> oh. That is the second combine finished. He's all folded up and the work has gone home. We've got these two passes here. Still to go on the new Holland, which if I move out of the way of the versatile there, there you go, you can see. So they've got one pass up there and then a down and an up here to get. And then they are done as well. So I'll run this back to the yard or closer to the yard. We'll probably have to remove the headers on these actually. Before we uh, get them back into the yard, because they are quite wide, so we might put them back on the trailers. Don't need them anytime soon either, because that is the last little bit of harvesting we need to do for a while. So uh, we'll run this back, and then we'll just keep an eye on that last auger wagon for the last combine. Make sure we uh, don't let that combine fill up completely. Now here we are. Now the lights are flashing on the combine, which means it must be over 80% full, so our timing is pretty damn good. Let's just roll up alongside. Get in position. Remember the auger on this uh, combine is pretty short, so we've got to be pretty accurate. It's not a great one to unload using auto drive or course play, so uh, better to do it by hand. There we go. Let's get that combine emptied out. And then I think we'll just sit and wait. Because it literally has to go down and back. So we'll just sit up at the top here. For when it finishes next time. And there we go. End of the field. Brilliant stuff. Okay. That AI worker will stop there. We only managed 15%, so it wasn't much in that last pass. But we'll, uh, we'll run down, we'll unload this, and then we'll quickly come back and grab that combine. The Args has been putting headers away, he's been packing combines up, getting p combines washed, so... We're, uh, we're going to be pretty organised by the time we're done here. Now, if I turn off 80%, that is the only bit of the field that is at 80%. Now, look at that strip of 110% through the middle of the field. A little bit of 105 a little bit of the others, but 100%. We've hit 100% for a lot of that field. So our yield is going to be huge. I'm very excited to see what this is going to be worth when we sell it. These aren't particularly dirty, but we might as well give them a quick clean. The new Holland Combine is definitely dirty, though. That definitely needs a good wash. Hey, would you believe it? I put all my equipment away. Didn't wash any of it. FSG's washing his. My, how the tables have turned. They have, haven't they? I did that deliberately. <laughs> right, all go wagon done. I'm going to put my cover on, just in case it rains. And we'll go and get the, home, the combine. There we go, hooked up. We can run this back. Well, if he's not washed the first two... I am not washing this. You <laughs> are kidding me. I've run out of gas. <laughs> FSG to Arcs. Go ahead. Um, you know we've talked about the uh, fuel tank on this little uh, ute being uh, rather small. Yeah. I've run out of fuel. <laughs> you need a push. <laughs> Push off a cliff. Yeah. 
I don't know how big. That, it's like a can of Coke the size of the oh. uh, fuel tank in this. I think, I think you need a syringe. Just a little 50 mil syringe. Yeah. Splash and dash. Yeah. Right. We're fueled back up. Let's get this out of here. Well, mate, that was uh, that was really good. I'm super stoked with how much we profited, or not profited, but yielded off those fields. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it was amazing. I've not even looked yet. I said I was going to look at the end on the uh, on the time saving stock check and see what we could make from it. Um, well, at max price. You should have a look. You should have a look because it's pretty impressive, and it's in December as well, so we don't have to wait too long. Well, I'm in. I mean, but crikey, we made nearly half a million liters. Hmm. Yeah, not bad, Dave. Eh? And only, and it's, only 75,000 litres came off that front field, so there's over 400,000 off the big field. That's insane, and mm. over 350,000 in income. Yeah, not bad, eh? Holy, Which, that's good. What, yeah, and it shows up when you look at the yield map as well. There's a lot of green on that field compared to any of the others. It's got a good vein through the middle. Good vein yeah, I had a look at that, over 110%, so we're, all that yeah. extra work, fertilising, rolling and everything was uh, well worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, slowly paying off. So that's a what, well, that's a quarter of the two million dollars gone, with uh, what we've got in the bins, and we've still got all the soybeans that are growing in the corn as well. That's right, and the barley's looking pretty uh, lucrative as well. Now, I was just saying, you're uh, you're not around for the next couple of weeks, are you? So, I am not. It's going to be a bit quiet on the farm. What I was going to suggest is uh, because the next job's actually spraying the soybeans, and uh, that's really only a one-person job. I might jump on and do that anyhow. And uh, next time you're back, we might be into some corn harvest. No, nope, sounds good. I believe we've got a new John Deere sprayer being delivered as well, haven't we? We do. That is, uh, that was something that I think we've ordered and should be here. So we will uh, tackle the silver beans with that, which will be good. Sounds amazing. All right, mate. Yes, it no. Does. Um, enjoy spraying those while I'm off. I will, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yep, you have a nice time, and uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back into it. Yep, yeah, no, definitely should be good. Yeah, good one, mate. All right. Good work. We'll catch you later. Yeah, take care, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. So there you go. Very, very lucrative episode. And uh, yeah, 350,000. Outstanding. And as you can see here, there's all the weeds that Args was talking about. They need sorting out. So uh, he will very kindly sort those while we're away. I am away for the next couple of weeks. So um, I am going to let him get on with that. And uh, we will be back here as soon as time will allow. But for me, for now, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it still. And we'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.